Good day commanders, this is Commander Darkside and today I want to go over some mining techniques to make your mining runs as efficient as possible. This video is going to only focus on laser mining, which most people will either be mining low temperature diamonds or painite as these are the two most valuable commodities that are laser mined. The main difference between the two is low temperature diamonds are worth more per ton, but each asteroid will yield less, whereas painite is worth less per ton, but each asteroid can yield almost twice as much. So the first thing I want to touch on is choosing your ship and modules. I have put a link in the description to my ship build, but there are many different ways to set up a ship. In my opinion, it's best to use a large ship like a Type 9 or Cutter because of their large cargo capacities. When building your ship, the goal is to have as many lasers as possible while having a power distributor that can run those lasers without running out of power and eventually overheating your ship. You will need to engineer your power distributor with either charge enhanced or weapon focused to be able to achieve that. You also may need to engineer your power plant to make sure you have enough power needed depending on your specific build. You will also want to engineer your thrusters with dirty drag drives to make it easier to position yourself when mining the asteroids. Of course you'll want to balance those lasers with the appropriate number of collector limpets so you aren't waiting around for your collectors to finish collecting. You can reference my build, but generally more is better. The size of the refinery doesn't really matter as we're only targeting one material at a time, but the larger the refinery you have, the more extra materials you can fit on your ship. Your Prospector Olympic Controller is one of the more important modules for efficiency in laser mining, as having an A-rated module will give you the highest yield, and a size 3 will allow you to have two prospectors out at all times. When dropping into the ring, make sure you are at the center of where the hotspots overlap. This will make a huge difference in finding the highest yield asteroids. For Painite, you will be dropping in between two overlapping hotspots, but for low temperature diamonds, you will be dropping between three overlapping hotspots, which can be more difficult to find the exact center point. Once in the ring, target a hotspot or a planet for reference so you don't fly in a circle and start prospecting right away. The key to efficiency when laser mining is always be prospecting. I try to look for asteroids that are close together, preferably slow spinning, and as round as possible. I shoot my first prospector at the nearest rock and target it, then shoot my second prospector at a nearby rock. As soon as my first prospector lands and I see the percentage of material, I immediately select my second prospector as the goal is to always be looking for your next mining target. For low temperature diamonds, I try to mine only 20% and higher, whereas painite, I try to shoot for 30% and higher. When mining the asteroid, try to find the center of rotation and position your ship at that point. This way, you won't scatter the materials, which would take extra time for your collectors to gather them. Also, get as close to the asteroid as you can to give your collectors the shortest trip possible. As soon as you have depleted the asteroid, turn your ship, find your next asteroids to prospect while your collectors are finishing. Again, shoot your first prospector and target it, and immediately shoot your second prospector at your next asteroid, always looking for your next mineable rock. This one technique alone will make your runs the most efficient. Another thing that I have found is that high yield asteroids seem to be close together, so I tend to zigzag back and forth in the ring when I find a high yield rock instead of flying in a straight line and potentially getting into a dead zone. Well, that's all I have for now, and until next time, see you in the Black Commanders.